everyone, it's Lisa here. In this tutorial, we're going to be drawing an adorable little kitten using the cute art creator. I've gone ahead and created a document that is 3,900 pixels by 4,950. I like that size because it's kind of like a good in-between. Um, it's high res but not enormous so that we still have quite a few layers to play with. So I'm going to go ahead and open that. And on our first layer, oh, I just need to mention up front, I'm using the uh, free um, swatches that come with the Cute Art Creator. It's just a little uh, tutorial swatch pack that I'll be using in, in this uh, tutorial that you can follow along with. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to use is this gray. You can choose a darker color if you're struggling to see. Um, in fact, I think I'm going to do that so I can make sure that you see what I do. Um, so I'm just going to use that sort of in-between gray color. And we're going to start by using one of the templates and it's the animal body so I'm just gonna stamp once at this stage it doesn't really matter what size because we can adjust it and this is just our line work so you don't have to have to get too um, pedantic about the size at this stage okay so I'm just gonna rotate that so our little kitten is gonna be floating and she'll be holding onto a balloon so I want to make sure that there's enough space for that balloon so I'll probably place her about there. And on that same layer, I'm actually going to do some adjustments. You can decide to do your adjustments on an entirely new layer if you like. So I'm using Lisa's pencil to do that. Essentially what I want to do is I want to make adjustments to this so that she has arms that are holding onto the balloon. So just very lightly just feeling out an arm it's basically like a little sausage that tapers near the end and as I come round, I'm gonna curl that line and bring it back down so this is just a very simple little paw that's holding the balloon string and then in this sort of in the same line as you can see because she's at an angle so that arm needs to be over here we're just going to draw another cute little simple arm again you'll notice I'm just really roughly feeling it out and then we want to add a tail so my little trick with adding tails to make them look like they are in their natural position is to start where the tail will actually be the base so it's gonna be over here I would say where her little bum would be so that would be a good starting point and then I just simply very loosely create um, you know a line work so that it has a free movement so you'll see that kind of sets our position of where the tail should naturally come out so that gives us a nice realistic position. I want her tail to be quite chunky. Okay, I've really stuffed that up, so I just want to quickly delete that. Oops. What are we on here? Oh. Just coming up to a proper brush. Okay, let's try that again. and something like that so her little tail is kind of thick and sort of stubby so I'm just going to ignore all of that because it's irrelevant to our drawing and it doesn't matter that you've made kind of a mess here because as I said this is just our framework and then what I need to do is I'm going to turn that down because it's a little too dark so you, as I said, you could have started with a lighter color, um, which is what I would normally have done, but I wanted to show you exactly what I was doing. So we're going to bring that down. Probably something like that. And create a new layer by hitting that plus sign. And we're going to start drawing. 
So I've chosen the black and I'm coming to my smooth anchor. So I've already created a preset which I just want to test and I'm going to show exactly what I mean by preset. So the preset is um, the size that I'm going to use throughout my drawing. Just want to test the size. I would say that looks about right. Okay, so in order to create your preset, you're just simply going to tap on... Um, okay, well, let's do that. I'm just going to take that away. So mine's at 7%. Depending on how big you've created your um, actual uh, template, you might want to go a little bigger with your brush or slightly smaller. I'm going to try the 7% and see how that goes. So we're on 7% and then I'm just going to hit the plus sign and that creates a preset. So the nice thing about that is if we ever change our brush size throughout the drawing, but we want to come back and make details um, over you know, add more detail to the same character. We want our brush size to be the same. So we just simply have to hit that little preset and you're back to what you originally did. Um, so that's quite an important trick and, and that's a great way to keep your line work consistent. Okay, so I'm gonna dive straight in and you'll notice that there are several sort of ear options. I'm gonna choose this one over here we could have gone with that one for the kitten, but I want her ears to be quite small. So I'm going to choose that one. And just choose, going slowly with my brush. There is no reason to rush. And then the legs, you have a few options. I'm going to choose the, the ones that are quite sort of short and stubby. That wasn't very nice. And then moving on to our tail. And what you could have done is created some sort of guideline for your features of your little kitten. But I have a good idea of where I want to place her eyes. So you could have already done a little bit of work on your gray layer just to help you along. And then we're just going to make a, a V and a tiny little line um, down that sort of indicates her nose. Just going to turn off that underneath to see where we're at. Yeah, she's looking pretty good. So what I want to do now is add some cute little patches. In fact, we can, I'm going to keep um, the, the template on for now just to give me some guideline. So the first thing I want to do is create a cute little one around her eye and then fill that in and probably another patch over here and fill that in and then just some little triangles to indicate the inside of her ears and then little whiskers so using free movements Okay, so the next thing we want to do is just add that balloon line. But I'd like to give myself just a little bit of a template to work with, just to see what it looks like. So starting from that point, that's the little brush line, or the, sorry, the, the little balloon line that comes down. You can decide to give it a little squiggle, or just make it sort of straight. And then from about here, that balloon line will come up and then we've got cute little sort of tie bows over there so coming back to my draw layer going back to black and our smooth inker we're just going to add our little balloon 
sort of line work. Okay, I think I'm ready to turn my template off now. So let's have a look. Yeah, that's looking pretty cute. <laughs> the next thing I want to do is just add some detail on her tummy and some fur. And then finally, we'll add a little balloon. So I'm going to create a new layer. And the reason why I'm doing that, just in case I don't like what I do, and I can easily edit that. So I'm hitting the plus sign. This time I'm going to use one of the patterns. So coming all the way down to, I've passed it, oh, there we go. I'm going to use the mid grain spots. Just going to test it. I think that size is pretty good. Okay, so I'm just essentially adding the spots to her tummy area and we're going to go in and clean that up in a second. So what I want to do is remove all those little extra bits. So using my eraser, I'm going to choose a natural inker because it's much easier to control. And I'm just simply going to delete all those little spots I don't want. So the ones that are incomplete essentially. So these I don't like. That goes over. It gives it a more natural look and it looks like you drew that by hand. Okay, so the next step we want to do is create some fur on her body. Again, on a new layer, just in case we make mistakes. Coming back up to the singles, I'm going to use the, the fur thick. And let's see what size have we got here. I'll probably go with like 15%. And I'm just simply going to see, yeah, that looks pretty good. So I'm just using, I don't like how that uh, first little one sort of made placement. So I'm going to do that again. And then this is entirely up to you. This is where you can have some fun and experiment. But I quite like just kind of dotting it here and there. You may want to fill uh, more of her, of her body. I quite like the odd one here and there and then just on her tail I quite like that it sticks out over there kind of gives it that fuzziness you can decide to rather stay within the lines but that for me is quite cute and oops too many I think and I think she's done I just want to add a cute little bow and her balloon so on a new layer, we're going to choose mustard. I'm still using, well, I'm actually going to come back to the smooth anchor and just simply going to draw two lines and a little bow. And on the same layer, again, you can decide to choose an entirely new layer if you like. Just going to make a circle. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to fix that. I'm going to just tap on my screen. You'll see that I haven't lifted my pencil. So I'm just basically producing a perfect circle. And it's not in the correct place, but we're going to fix that right now. So using my selection tool, I'm use, making sure I'm on freehand. I've just drawn a selection around that. And I'm going to simply move it up into position. And then finally, we're going to add some cute little bunting on the balloon. So creating a new layer, I'm going to choose white. So I'm just going to choose the background color and go and find our bunting brush. And I just want to mention um, the direction of your uh, sort of stroke is going to have an impact on the direction of the element. So you'll see I worked from left to right. If I go right to left, our uh, bunting flags will be upside down. Makes it look like teeth marks, which are great for um, like a crocodile or something, but, you know, but we're not doing that now. So you want to go the same direction to keep your elements in the same direction. And then we're just going to make sure that that's a clipping mask. So we're going to clip it to that balloon area. So I've tapped on that layer. I'm going to choose clipping mask. And then on that same layer that we've just clipped, I'm going to choose alpha lock because essentially I want to make some changes to that bunting 
but I want to make sure that I'm not going outside the areas of that bunting. So choosing my black, coming back to a natural inker. This is where you can have some fun. I'm just going to keep it quite simple and just fill in some of these little flags in different textures. I'm going to come down to, let's choose this little zigzag. That might be too big. Yeah, that works. Maybe you want to make your own little dots. That's too big. That's quite cute. And then finally, I'm just going to add a little bit of texture to our balloon. So coming to the balloon layer, I'm actually going to use um, a brush to delete areas to create the texture. So choosing our eraser, coming down to the textures all the way to the bottom, using dirt specs. I'm just simply going to take away some of that mustard. So that just adds a little kind of speckly effect. And then just to reiterate that using black, using that same texture brush, which is all the way down, dirt specs. I'm just going to randomly add some to our overall drawing. And if you're finding some are a little too much, like that area there for me is too much, I'm just going to use our natural inker again, just to take away some of the areas I don't like. And that's it. You've created a cute little kitten in no time at all. Hope you enjoyed that. Happy creating. <laughs>